Hello and welcome to Beer Bros. Today we continue our dessert beer selections with another beer from Buffalo Bayou in Houston, Texas. So for the second beer of the week, we have Red Velvet Stout, mm. handcrafted in H-Town. A southern uh, tradition is red velvet cake. Mm. Richly decadent, voluptuous dessert will seduce and ravage your taste buds, then cuddle with them in the afterglow. Aw. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we got here. They do a nice job of waxing their bottles. All right, first up. Let's see if it's red. Is it red? Oh, it's not red. It's kind of red. For real red velvet cake, you put in like a whole bottle of red food dye. So I was expecting a little bit redder, but it's okay. It doesn't have very much head. It's which, which is kind of typical for stout. Right. Dark, you can't really see through it. You can see it at the bottom, but not anywhere else. So this is supposed to have, you know, malt. Uh, well, yeah. This is supposed to have cherries and stuff and just typical red velvet tendencies in it. So let's give it a smell and see what we can get out of it. There are no cherries in red velvet cake. Get a little bit of a sweet hint, but not really. Yeah, and some something like a bourbon barrel, very very light bourbon barrel. Okay. Stout, but it's a it's extremely uh, well, it's, it's sweet smelling. Yeah. So that's the predominant scent that that we get. Okay. But it's not extremely pungent. Right. Okay. All right. So let's give this a try. Thank you, drink. It's a lot drier than what I thought. Yeah, and, and there isn't as much of a red velvet cake taste, which I'd somehow come to expect. Yeah, um, have you had it before? Red velvet cake? No, this red velvet stout. No. Okay. But I was led to believe by the labeling that it would taste like red velvet cake. Marketing. Mm -hmm. Don't it's not bad, I get, I get the hint of cherry. It's more airy. It's airy and light for a stout. With a slightly sharp bite at the end, which I think comes from the cherry. Yeah, and maybe the malts too that are in there, but uh, more malty than anything. It has right. some sweetness at the onset, but not not typically associated. Flavors aren't, the flavors that are typically associated with, with red velvet cake are, are not too prevalent in this. So yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a decent beer. Yeah. So more chocolatey. Which you would expect from red velvet because it uses cocoa, mm. but um, it's just got that distinctive taste and... You're just craving cake, aren't you? I am now. <laughs> so, okay. Well, that concludes our episode for this Wednesday. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And if you've had any of these selections from Buffalo Buyer, please drop us a line. Let us know. So, until Friday's episode, Beer Bros out. <laughs>